Good morning and welcome back to Breakfast Television. We are currently in the basement of a building that I can't tell you about though, um, but we're going behind the scenes of a very exciting show that Danielle, you have brought here. Um, it's a two-day experience. You start in Barrie and you meander back to Toronto in here. Um, what scene are we kind of picking up on right now? Michael plays one of the lead actors as well. Yeah, we, right now we are in one of the locations, many locations within this building where we are presenting this secret musical. Um, it, the actual musical isn't all that secret because it is a very iconic musical. Um, but we're not telling you what it is. No, because we're doing it in a very special way as the third part of a two-day journey yeah. that is a sort of an anthological... This edition, yes, is two days. It used to be three days, the one that went to London, but this one here, it's only two days, but it's actually better because uh, we compressed all of the content in two days, and you have so many encounters all over the city that leads up to this wonderful musical that Michael starts in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how did you come up with this idea, Daniele, to kind of allow the the viewer or the audience member to feel like they're they're almost a part of the show? I think uh, two main things, to offer to the theatre viewer a different kind of experience and also to uh, attract audiences they don't go to theater mm -hmm. so I think the experiential level it's great because it's accessible to everyone and it's really about you mm -hmm. so there's no right way or wrong way to engage with it it's really like your own story and it's nice like, like you said because people who maybe aren't theater goers can still enjoy this sort of thing and be a part of it um, Michael for you what do you enjoy about playing your character again we can't reveal it but it's <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> well, as I did say, as I did say before, I do get to play one of the most iconic musical theater characters that there is. Uh -huh. um, but doing it in this way is so much more fun in a way because since audience members are going to be as close to us as you and I are speaking right now, um, I get to play the character in such a way that will try and get the audience to really empathize with him in ways that they might not have been able to if you're sitting in an audience about 50 feet away from the stage. So you really get to be really up close and personal. You get to see the beads of sweat and the tears and <laughs> the spit and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it really is a, a different kind of an exercise as a theater actor to be able to do that with an audience being so close. And it's amazing, it's so much fun. Right, and there's lots of opportunities for folks at home to come and see the show. Um, and we're giving away tickets in just a little bit. We're not gonna tell you um, how you can win them just yet. Um, but if you keep watching, then you'll find out. More BT when we come back right after this. Thanks, 